I, I just think it's funny how now that I'm back here, I like got a little bit of reflection, figured out what makes, what actually makes me happy, what I want to do. And now I'm like so motivated. And the fact that this is all falling like at the end of the year, like new year resolution kind of thing. It's not even like I'm, this is my resolution. It's like, I just have so much just motivation and like self, I don't know, like I just feel so ready to like do all of this and to, you know, just make, make all this stuff happen. And I just hope that, you know, you guys can watch me do all this and maybe, you know, motivate yourselves or maybe, you know, I'll show you guys things that you didn't even, you know, know that you could do or that were, you know, just like easy exercises that anyone can do or just like little steps that anyone can take in their life to feel better, you know, because we all have issues and there's days where I feel like, you know, I mean, just like the self pity party of like, oh, I don't have enough muscle or, oh, I wish that I was skinnier or I wish that I was heavier. Like I wish that I looked stronger. I wish that I had, you know, whatever, better hair. What I mean, my God, look at this. Just kidding. I didn't take a shower today. Uh, yeah. So I just hope that I can help you guys and see you know what we can do together and just build a little a little family and love each other just kidding okay i'm going to go thanks for listening stay cool stay focused and i will see you guys in the next one from the clip yesterday i was talking about how i was doing like my weigh-ins and how for the last four days I've actually lost more weight on the scale than I've expected to. I started out at 121.6, I believe. I don't know, I feel like it was that. And then I weighed myself two days ago and it was 119.4. And then I weighed myself yesterday and it was 118.6. And I had a rest day yesterday because I was feeling really just like low on energy and weak and and I knew I had to work so I ended up going to work last night super busy worked really hard I was very hungry when I got home and so I ended up eating like half of my day's macros just like late at night and I ended up eating a lot of sodium so I was kind of feeling like shit but looking back now I'm really glad I did that because it was like very much needed uh, anyway so then I woke up this morning and I got on the scale thinking that I would like retain a lot of water and because I ate so much sodium last night on accident and it was 118.6 it was exactly the same as yesterday so I'm very happy about that I actually was hoping to eventually like plateau for a week or two because I really just want to like keep my weight and like build muscle and then slow I have 16 weeks to get this fat off so I just don't want to I don't want to go too hard too fast because I feel like I'm just like I literally feel like I'm already low on energy and so we're just gonna make a big breakfast right now I'm gonna film it for you guys Justin's getting the kitchen all nice and beautiful uh, so anyways yeah so we're gonna make this breakfast we're gonna go to the grocery store I'm gonna buy some more food we're gonna get a newspaper for Justin he's doing an eight-week challenge so he's getting his before photo today and uh, then I'll just yeah we're just gonna record at the gym I'll probably show you guys maybe what I get from the grocery store or not. We're gonna do some meal prepping tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some stuff done and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the kitchen. And I'll see you in the kitchen. Welcome back to kitchen hour. Uh, for breakfast today, we're gonna be doing a scramble and I'm gonna use 100 grams of chicken, and I'm gonna use one brown egg, probably like 100 grams of egg whites, and then probably, I don't know, like like 75 grams of white rice. We're gonna make a little scramble. Um, I think I'm gonna, oh, there it is. 70. So that on its own is 5.8 fat and 20.6 protein and 140 calories. So I'm glad I only got with 70 grams. I do not need that much right now. Cool. Good. 
Good enough. Good enough. Eighty-one. That's fine too. You see how easy this is? <laughs> I'm just doing it and it's working out perfectly. So let's do 80 grams of white rice. That is 22 carb, zero fat, and two protein. Okay. Use a little bit of this Pam. Can you see this? Olive oil. This stuff is great. Butter substitute. We're going to put this in here. Good. All right, I'm thinking like a hundred, so I'm just going to start small. One oh two. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna have like a hundred grams of egg whites, and I'm gonna start mixing this real quick. I gotta get my egg. Gotta get this baby in here. Oh hell! And I'm gonna break this. We don't care. This is gonna be so. Good. Look how huge this is, by the way. I feel like all of my meals that I eat or that I have been eating throughout this whole prep are literally like, this is not gonna be, I don't even really care about the calories too much, but like this is a huge meal and the calories are really low. So like imagine going to McDonald's and eating a cheeseburger and fries and you're like, oh my God, this is so good. And it's like 900 calories and then you feel like shit and this is huge and I'm gonna probably not even eat this whole thing. I'm gonna try. Uh, well, okay, fine. I'm going to use the sauce that I'm going to use is not going to be like any calories. I'm going to use I'm ketchup. Gonna, no, I'm going to use this for my chicken and this is zero calories, 460 milligrams of sodium, which is 19% of a 2000 calorie diet. So I'm not going to use that much. Okay. So calories for this whole meal are 369 calories, this is 22 carb, 11 fat, and 40 protein. 40 protein. Wow. This is a solid breakfast, so easy. I don't cook, I hate cooking, and I'm not good at cooking, and look at this. I just made this in five minutes. And that's the beauty of all this. So, I'm actually just going to, since I'm using that Frank's or whatever it is, I'm not gonna use salt, but I have to have pepper on everything, so I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on this. And I'm not even weighing this, it's zero calories. I'm just gonna go light, because I know that there's like a little bit of sodium, and I don't want to have too much. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this breakfast, and then we're gonna go run some errands, and then we're gonna go do a gym sesh. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Hello. <laughs> Made it to the gym, drinking pre-workout, getting ready to hit a leg day. Justin brought his camera, so we're gonna get some footage of this workout for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So here you go, leg workout. January 5th, 2019. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I've been moving colors, so no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Cause I see the things that they wish on me.
post-workout meal which is actually my second meal of the day it was a holy guacamole mini packet and Yukon gold potatoes 155 grams so the macros break down to 30 carb 10 fat and 5 protein um, I was definitely craving carbs and fats after my workout so I just went ahead and like listened to my body and made some really easy potatoes and threw in some guacamole and it was great all right, guys, I hope you liked that workout. If you have any questions, I'm going to put the full routine in the description box below, so you can go ahead and give it a try. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep following me on my bikini competition series, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!